Good day, folks. Welcome back to the Savage Farmer channel. Brad here. What we have going on today is, well, we have an unboxing of a Husqvarna 445. So, uh, this is what we're going to show you today and see how it all works. And uh, stay tuned. Right, guys so here we have a Husqvarna 445 chainsaw uh, 50.2 cc so at 11.2 pounds so this is the first time I've never uh, used one of these before and this was a couple individuals here that have never used a chainsaw before and we are going to uh, Show them, give them the basic details, what we need to do in order to uh, operate a chainsaw safely. So, what we got in here, we have, oh, look at that, oil. So that's what we're going to use. So we have the oil, the scrunch in there, instruction manual. So there we go. After a little bit of a struggle there, we got the, 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 ch the chainsaw uh, unboxed here. Here we have a Husqvarna 445. X torque, uh, very light saw, very uh, good for around the home. Um, I'm liking it so far. So we got an 18 inch bar on it as well. Um, we'll just uh, pop off the cover here quickly and we'll just uh, see what we look like on the inside here. I like these uh, quick disconnects, no screws or anything like that. We have a filter. And we just uh, pop this off like so. And we pull that off. So here it is, brand new filter. And you want to keep this cleaned uh, uh, often. So put that back on. So, and so let's put this back together. We're going to get this uh, filled up with some oil. Bar oil that is, and we're gonna mix up some 50 to 1 uh, fuel for this bad boy. Okay, here we are, 50 to 1, 100 mils of oil, going into five liters of uh, gasoline. There we go. Okay, so we got 50 to 1 fuel to oil ratio. What's nice about these Husqvarna's as well is these flip tops, right? Uh, I don't know. I really enjoy these. Oh, this one's so new. It doesn't want to flip up. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Okay, so. Brand spanking new. Shake. All right, so now I'm going to put in some bar oil. Okay, and we'll grab that. In this case here, we're using uh, the X-Guard Husqvarna Premium All-Season Bar and Chain Oil. So all-season performance, right? So remember, guys, you can buy uh, the lighter stuff, lightweight, for uh, winter, and uh, the thicker stuff for summer. Because of viscosity reasons and uh, so forth. Here we have it. Here's a 445 X Torque Husqvarna. Very light. We'll compare it to my other uh, Johnson Red, which is a, in the same class as a 
This is a 52 or 50 cc saw. The other one I have is a 52, same caliber. And uh, it's an all day working saw. So it's uh, good to go. Definitely lighter. So this is the Johnson Red, um, 2150, Jubilee edition. Um, there's more weight to this at 52 horsepower, and this one's at 50, I believe. So, yeah, modernization, I guess. But uh, both with 18 inch bars. Now, keep in mind, I got the plastic thing on there, but let's take that off and confirm that. They're pretty much, very much alike. This one is lighter, though. So, they've reduced weight somewhere. But, that's how it goes with, uh, you know, modern day world. Everything improves. So, here we are. We have uh, the 445 Husqvarna. Right? And this is a uh, from a, a couple here that reached out to me that uh, wanted to know how to use a chainsaw. This is their first time. So I'm giving them the basics of how to use a chainsaw properly and safely. Okay, so here we have the Husqvarna, right? It's a nice, light, nimble saw, right? Good homeowner saw, general purpose around the property, right? So in order to start this bad boy, you see the primer bulb here, right? And then you have the stop button right here, right? So make sure that's up, you're on choke. Prime this. Get the fuel pumped up six times or so. Probably last night, usually about three once it's already, once you had it running. Okay. And uh, what we'll do is put it on the ground. Safety brake is on. That's off. That is on. Now, I don't fire a saw this way. Ideally, they, they want you to put your foot on the ground and fire it up like this way. It's positive control. So, whatever way you do it, I'm going to tell you this way positive control of the saw, right? I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna do it this way, right? Put it between your legs, right? Your hand is firmly here. And another option is, is to let the, the weight of the saw pull away from you as you hold this. See, here it kick, regular mode. got going on here so it's one switch I might have a pull out right yeah. so you got okay. one switch for both so all the way up is your choke so you're gonna pull it maybe once twice usually Husqvarna's is three times uh, and then you'll hear it like want to kick over and then you kick it down and fire it right um, so let's try it again it should not need a choke <laughs> Brand some brand new saw. Just gonna let it warm up. Warm up. <laughs>
in a stable area and we'll go with that. I gotta say, <laughs> he's, like it. he's yeah. liking it. <laughs> so we'll uh, fire up this one here. So this is what I do. I like 16 inch cuts on everything, because that's what I sell, right? I got a zap tie. So anywhere from here to there, 16 inches. Oh. It gives you more 
I'm just going off of eyesight. Look oh, at that. Good. I'm bang on, right? Because I've been doing it long enough time that I just sort of know. But it's I still like that. Trick. Right? It gives you that exact measurement. So you can go from here, yeah. eyeball it. Boom. That way, you know, any stove will take a 16 inch cut or go this way, right? So I'll just fire up this bad boy. Now this has got auto tune, it's got a computer into it and everything else, so you'll see it. Nothing beats good old firewood heat. I tell you. I want to wish everyone out there a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't see you or put a video between now and then. Um, that's the main reason I cut this video short. But uh, we're going to get back to on regular programming here shortly. Been away for a while. But uh, I want to appreciate everyone, each and every one of you out there that watch my channel, subscribe, make comments. It's awesome. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Merry Christmas to you and your families, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.